Saturday, March 25, 1911, over 500 people reported for work on the three factory floors. Although the working conditions were dirty and hazardous, the Ash Building was considered fire safe. A fire at the Ash Building? What are the odds? Hello and welcome to another VHS review. Today we're delving once again into the family archives of TV's Dan Illick. And from 1984, it's the 1979 made-for-TV movie The Triangle Factory Fire Scandal, recorded off Sydney's Channel 7. It's the tragic story of New York City's deadliest industrial accident, in which 146 garment workers, mostly women and girls, died when a fire engulfed a multi-story sweatshop. Many of the workers were unable to escape because the doors to the stairwell and exits were locked, a common practice at the time to prevent employees taking unauthorized breaks and to reduce theft. Who needs unnecessary red tape, right? Here, give me that. Turn out the water. Bob, turn out the water! I did! Those garnets, we paid them a fortune and never connected it to the water main. Where's the Fonz when you need him? In many ways, working conditions have improved a lot since then. For example, companies no longer lock fire exits. They can stop their employees taking breaks with simple facial recognition software, or bullying. But it also seems some industries are sliding backwards towards those bad old days, as anyone who works in the gig economy can attest. Real wages have been stagnant for decades, and income inequality is as bad today as it was in the 1910s. Yet this myth still prevails. This is America. There are millionaires everywhere. And you know what else? Most of them were born poor, just like you and me. Afraid not. Let's see what else on this tape did not age well. Until 1837, when a group of enterprising businessmen started the gas company, Sydney lived in the shadows. The gas company is still private enterprise, but it's come a long way since then, and so has natural gas. But some people still live in the shadow of their energy bills, and natural gas can show them the way out by offering a more efficient, low-cost form of energy. Natural gas from the Australian Gaslight Company. Don't put it off, put it on. Low cost, huh? That age like a fine bread. Also note the big bill. Apparently a popular advertising motif at the time. Some restaurants think it's tray smart to serve small meals, and even tray smarter to serve large bills. But at Lovely Pancakes, we give you stacks to eat. Like a buckwheat stack with mozzarella and bolognese, or a stack of pancakes with ham steak in the works. The smallest thing we put on a plate is the bill. Lovely pancakes. We give you stacks to eat. Firstly, don't put the bill on the plate. Put it underneath. Secondly, if the Sydney restaurant's anything like the Melbourne one, they're probably the most expensive pancakes in Australia. You've got to be there. Yeah. You've just got to be there. You'll feel free there. You'll be what you want to be. See what you want to see. Seven holes there. So, what were Aussies watching on TV in 1984? For starters, a promo for Sons and Daughters where the background music abruptly cuts in and out for some reason. You framed Terry and faked the whole incident. Has Patricia been sprung in her own trap? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Rowena Wallace, dual Logie Award winner, intends to keep you guessing. This is Mr. Palmer, who lives next door. Hello, Mr. Hi. Palmer. And Dave meets his new next door neighbours. What will their very first impression be? Sons and daughters right after Terry Willisey tomorrow night. Yes, Dave meets the new neighbours. What will their first impression be? This is Mr. Palmer, who lives next door. Hello, Mr. Hi. Palmer. Pretty sure that was it. What show do you give to the man who's hosted everything? I've done variety shows, tonight shows, I've done game shows, I've done movies, miniseries, but the one thing I've never done is a news program. Well, I'll try anything once, so I've agreed to take over 11am for five weeks while Vincent Smith's away. I hope you'll join me. 11am with Graham Kennedy, every weekday morning. So why don't we give him another f***ing program? <laughs> Speaking of kings... G'day, Kenny Boy! Thursday, there's a brilliant hour of comedy coming to seven. You're not taking the Commodore, I just polished the dipstick. Ted Bulford's back in a brand new season of Kingswood Country. <laughs> Oh. And brother Bobby's practical joke has Teddles convinced he's seen a ghost. Ah! 
Kingswood Country, a riotous new series for 84. Plus, bless this house. Thursday on 7. Far King Awful. Let's look at some other car ads, and uh, if you're going to stand in front of a red background, what colour suit would you wear? Obviously, the exact same red. In the 12 months of February, Toyota dealers have sold more commercial vehicles than Ford, GMH and Nissan put together. How did they do it? With great products, great dealers and great deals. This year, your Toyota dealer will do even better with unbeatable deals on Australia's biggest and most popular range of commercial vehicles. Don't buy second best. Buy Toyota. See if you can work out why this guy is holding stacks of money. Oh, g'day. Foz here again. You know how Nissan Bluebird outsold every other two-litre car in 1983? Well, your Nissan dealer's as keen as mustard to do it again in 84. During April, your Nissan dealer has declared open season on Nissan Bluebird. So if you're hunting for a bargain, April definitely means the deal of a lifetime on the totally brilliant Bluebird. They're the fair dinkum best buy about. So get a top deal on the top-selling Nissan Bluebird during the April open season sale at your Nissan dealer now. Okay, so he's the car dealer, so I guess he's got money because he's sold a lot of Bluebirds, as if we're somehow impressed with his success. But why is he taking money out of the two armoured vans? Wouldn't he be putting money in? Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, none of this makes sense! When you think of great animal mascots of Australian advertising, you probably think Louis the Mortean Fly, Sid the Slip Slop Slap Seagull, and whatever the gobbledock was. But here's another. G'day, I'm Moddy Modular. Just look at this fantastic modular swimming pool. I'll bet you thought you could never afford your own custom-built pool. Well, you can, with those nice modular people, plan your own shape. And before you know it, wacko! Modular, the incredible difference. Your own family favourite in-ground sanitised finished swimming hole. There's all sorts of copings, like deep new waterline tiles. It's bonzer to have your own modular pool. Special summer offer, modular spas and pools. Modular spas and pools. I brought my wrap and Monty Modular tape. Always makes the trip go faster. Modular, 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 bang out a jingle about pretty much anything. So let me ask, which one of these 1984 ads does not have a jingle? Is it A, an electrical store, B, an airline, C, winter menswear, D, a car, or E, random breath testing? I'll give you one second of thinking time. Okay, well, the electrical store certainly does. An electrical, an electrical discount that guarantees? guarantees? Yes! Buying a television at an actual store from a man in a suit and tie. Those days are long gone. Now, assuming you even set foot in a JB Hi-Fi and not just order online, you're lucky to get served by someone with a tattoo of a collar on their neck. What about an ad for an airline? Does that jingle? Yes, it does. You have that way of knowing what to do and what to say. The world looks great when I am with you. The sky is yours alone. I see you smile, I see you care. Singapore girl, you're a great way to fly. Singapore girl, she fly you long time. Winter menswear, does it jingle? You better believe it. Get it on. Getting into high-priority knitwear from Ricardo, the value-added winter attraction in Plains, Geometrics and Fair Isles. 
taking it easy in Royal Park and Wilderness Supply trousers, striking the right chord in herringbone, Vantican and Bedford styles. The return of the classics, getting into Anset knitwear, pure new merino wool, quality and style. Falling for casual weekend looks in Ricardo knitwear. Royal Park trousers and Anset knitwear. The strength in winter menswear. Getting on with it. Strange slogan for a 60 second ad that just keeps going. How about a car commercial? Does that jingle? Obviously, yes. Suzuki is swift, quick as a flash. 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 Suzuki is swift. At this price, it's disappearing fast. See your Suzuki dealer. Suzuki Swift, making pedestrians disappear. So that just leaves random breath testing. Surely they couldn't do a jingle for that. Remember how much random breath testing there was when it first started? Well, this Easter, there'll be twice as much. Every highway patrol car will be operating as a booze bus every day and every night. How will you go when you're sick for the test? Will you be under all five or under arrest? How will you go when you're sick for the test? Will you be under all five or under arrest? How will you go when you're sick for the test? It was a trick! They all had jingles! How will you go when you sit for the test? Will you be under 05 or under arrest? I reckon that one's the best of the lot. Probably makes for a good drinking song, ironically. Check out this ad for St. George Building Society. FYI, it didn't become a bank until 1992. It's pretty straight down the line, but something happens at the end that's just a little out of place. Don's the father of the bride, and he couldn't be happier. When he knew there was a special event coming up, Don invested a fixed amount in a St. George, name the day account. I chose the term, and I earned interest right up till today. A St George Name the Day account lets you nominate the investment term and pays you up to 12.5%, right up to the day you withdraw. What a great idea, St George. So when his daughter named the day, so did Don. What a great idea, St George! Well, they can't all be great ideas. Oh, and they had a jingle too. Love the feel of this country Love the feel of this town Got a place in the country that we're gonna stick around. Know that here is where we wanna be. Grew up here, this place is me. Love the mountains and I love the sea. It's got the light and it's home to me. If you wanna stick around and watch things grow, then you'd better talk to St. George. We're here to help things grow, whether it's your first savings account or money to retire comfortably, or your house. You gotta put your heart in if you wanna see things grow. And some George has got the time to help things grow. St. George, the bank that's represented by a fire-breathing monster. Goodbye. Right, thank you very much. 15 seconds to go. David M. Green back in the house. He had left the building.